faster on the beat. Let's get it. your boy Brandless back at the game. Today we're gonna be showcasing one of my locust matches against Ulta. I'm so excited to showcase this match guys. It, it's really fun. It's really really fun and uh, let's get into it. All right let's see who goes first. Uh, in this matchup what you try to do is to mulligan for your Bertatsu and also Kid. I think Kid, Raigo, oh, so he, he probably so he's going first. All right. No playing. For, okay, first. He's a really his name is Keith. I was one of the locals, homies, and uh, he's a great player. Okay, man. Look, the Uta man is so consistent, man. I'm always being like, out. My brother built the deck, and I'm always being like, oh my god, I want to try, I want to try. I've never done it, but it, it it looks so much fun. Uta looks so much fun, and I love the consistency. So I do the same thing. I pull all my dance and uh, swing for life uh, here what you want to do you want to start ring a little bit early if they play characters if they don't play characters because they're playing around your gadatsu what you do is you go more aggressive and you put it in a situation where they gotta play blockers they gotta play the kid that's what you do okay so it's going seven getting a 2k because <laughs> so i'm taking I'm taking the life yeah, like I'm, I'm, I don't like if he if he would have swim for six, I would have kept her. But like giving him two cards that early, I think it's just it's not good for me. Okay. All right. So I go six alive. He takes it, and I'm like, okay, so he's playing around my Gadatsu, right? He's not playing nothing. So I play my rusher and I don't swing. Uh, the reason I didn't swing is because like, be patient, you know, because I'm trying to, let me see what I have in hand. Uh, oh yes, I have Gedas already. So I'm trying to kill the Nami. I'm leaving a three life because if he plays the Nami, I can kill her. So I take it, I trigger Shura, great card to trigger guys. I love it. Uh, people be asking me why you would replace for a uh, rigid and that card that I should I should search Raigo, I think that's that's the one that I would probably gonna pop maybe to three or four. Um so you see he's a smart player. He's playing around my that's so not he penalized me for not attacking the previous turn with my block with my rush case. Um so now this is when the game gets good. Why? Because now it's like he has a seven, a seven character. If he plays the kid, do I have the answer? And uh, yeah, now he has two bodies on board, so he can start putting that pressure. I'm only at one lives, you know what I'm saying? So let's see, let's see what happens. Um, I don't remember all the details, but I know it was a great game. And you see his hand, guys. He has the kid. He has the kid, man. They always do, man. That's why this, this match is so intense, so good. Because it comes down to where if he plays a kid and I don't have an answer to it, and he plays another kid, oh, he's looking rough for your boy Brandless. I ain't gonna lie. Okay, so I, you know, uh, you wanna control the board, so I pay two dots to rest his uh, six cast character, and I go 806 to see what he's gonna do. He let it die, it's more. He's managing his resources. Okay, let's see what I do next. Probably thinking about playing the. Let's see, okay, yeah. So start putting pressure. Uh, see, see what he does. Trying to get cards out of his hand. Um. Or you know, put it closer to lethal. Where because the thing is, when you're close to lethal, you can have all the blockers in the world. But if I can remove your kid and keep putting pressure, you're forced to either give me cards or take the the life. So now I'm going big alive. He takes it and I pass. So in this turn, we were able to remove one of his characters and we were able to swim and, and take one of his life. And that's what you want to do. 
he 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 was really smart. Uh, we spoke after the game about he was like, yeah, I was playing around your game. So he swing. That was just, to me that smart. Clear the board because now I don't have the shura to bounce it back with Karakuri. If, if he doesn't play the kid and. Because I, I, I don't think I would ever play Karakuri unless in this matchup unless it's to boss the kid. But in some situation, yes, you can play you can play Karakuri here yourself if you're in a, if you don't have counters. Uh, but you see what he did there guys, why he's so smart. So he plays the kid and then he plays the Nami. Why he did that? Because I'm for now I'm forced to deal with the kid. And he's it's um so yeah, I'm I'm blessed enough to have Raigo. So I do the right I'm like, get that out of here. And then I have four dunks left. I go five alive to see what he's gonna do. So now he's giving me, he gave me a 2K. I go seven alive. He's thinking about it. He's a one life, that's good for me. Then I pay four and I'm able to do region. So losing region the next set is gonna help decks like this uh, because it's gonna hurt. Not having region is really, really gonna hurt. Um, but. Uh, we adjust. We're gonna be getting the Franklin and the Ace, guys. That's the two cars that I'm looking at the format. Look at that, guys. He's getting free blockers. I'm looking like, okay, that's a target. Uh, giving a 2k um, because if I lose the last life, then he can be super aggressive to my life, and then I'm I'm forced to. Or like, what he would have done since he's a good player. If I take the first hit, then he swings seven with Luffy. And then he's eating two cards out of my hand instead of one. So I have the other Raigo guys. <laughs> I've played two of them, but remember, we were able to search one of them with Shura. Uh, I think Shura, we will have to, you know, remove it from our deck once Opio 7 hits. But I'm still on the early testing. I don't usually test before getting the cards. But my homies convinced me, convinced me Kobe, Apukutu, and, and Sian, they convinced me to like, bro, just, just play a few games, see how it feels in the set. And I feel like Shura is one of the cards that we'll have to go. So guys, you see what I'm doing here? I'm removing the board. I'm removing, I'm trying to remove all the blockers that he has. Because if he plays another, if he starts playing a lot of blockers or plays another kid, and I don't have an answer to it, it can get really rough. Here, I'm swimming nine where if he blocks with Luffy, he still have to give me two cards. So you see, he gave me two cards, a 2k and a 1k. Like I say, guys, in previous videos, I'm always double checking. It's not like I don't trust my opponent. It's like, I like to, uh, it's just fundamentals and like habits where I'm always gonna double check, no matter what. Because we humans, we're gonna make mistakes. Your opponent can make mistakes. That doesn't mean I'm cheating or he's cheating. It just means that we're humans and we can miss, miss counter or misread our effect. So I'm always double checking. So guys, he plays the third kid in a row, if I'm not mistaken. And I'm like, okay, do we have the answer? Yes, he can carry really rough. Because right now he has, he's, he's one life, but he has literally three blockers on the board. And I, I'm forced to swing my kid. And guys, I've been removing his board, but I haven't been establishing my own board. So that's a little bit scary. Because right now, if I don't have the kid, he's, he's scary. So here, I got 10 dots. I put, I swing, I swing, Nana kid. What I'm trying to do is, yes, there you go. He gave me a 2K. I have a Karakuri. So in this turn, yes, he went back to two live, but I removed the third kid and I ate one of his two kids. And that's clutch for the late game. So do 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 does he have the four kid or do he play a four kid? That's the question. What he's gonna do. And here, if you swim, here you gotta be really careful. Why? Because remember, Uta plays the event. Guys, he keep getting counter, he keep adding cards. That's insane. So here, guys, if he gets, if he has the event that he can restand his leader, he can kill me in a heartbeat. Like, you need to respect Uta, guys. You know, and he only have four cards in hand. This is scary, I ain't gonna lie. Let's see, let's see what he's gonna do. So he swings seven. I'm thinking about countering. Let's see, let's see. So, I believe I counter already. Guys, look at that. He plays one Luffy, plays Brooks, Brooks plays another blocker. Don't tell me that that, that is not scary. So I play Yamato, I kill one of the blockers, I'm able to heal. That is clutch. I did that first, why? Because if he takes that hit, now I cannot kill, well, 
I could technically kill the two cost blocker, but for me, the blocker that I choose kill has more value for him. Because I believe that blocker, if you discard an event or a Ulta car, I remember the whole effect, he can restand the Luffy. So he takes the hit. Let's see what happens. Now I have four characters on board. Um, but I'm healthy, I have two lives, so he has to hit me four times successfully to kill me. So he's swing 5k, he's testing the waters, he's probably looking to see if I have counter, and I just counter, you gotta you gotta try to always counter the first attack, because, you know, it's like, if, it's, if they're only requiring you one card out of your hand, try to counter the first attack, especially when they have that board. So I take that one, it's a seven, I trigger Shura, clutch, uh, let's see what we can add, hopefully a counter. It's looking rough, right? I ain't gonna lie. Because right, right now, if he would have the van, I think he have one of them, but he can like try to kill me, you know? It's rough, guys, it's rough. Okay, really, really rough. The only the only thing he's, he could be, he's thinking about is like, if I don't kill him, I can die the next turn. But he have a lot of counter. So he's thinking like this, you know, like, it's rough, guys. And shout out to him, man. Look at those zones that he has. So beautiful. So he plays another blocker. He's playing a save. Um, and let's see what he do next. Guys, we have... Uh, me and my brother, Kobe Sierra, we're working on... We're gonna be... We're testing a POV view. So hopefully you guys like those coming out. Coming soon, those videos that we're gonna bring for you. So he plays uh, a four, and he pass. Honestly, if I if I was him, I would swing with the kids, at least one of them. So I play the Yamato play. I kill one of his blocker, and I start swinging. So I go five. I still have one down open. The reason I went five is because if he blocks with the kid, it's the same thing, you know. So you go seven. Let's see what he's gonna do. Yeah, because he has a small blocker, so I probably would have swung with one of the kids. But at the same time, I would still be on one life if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so he goes nine. All right. I go nine, I'm sorry. And then I go nine again. So he's now he's going to... Okay, perfect. So now, guys, if he doesn't kill me the next turn, he's dead. Why? Because he has no life. Uh, well, he has the kid, I think, right, guys? Pretty sure he has the kid, so he can play the kid. But I had too many attacks. So we go six. Like I said, guys, if you only if they swim in six and only asking one card over your hand, um, defend it. Why take it? Uh, especially when they have thus many attacks. Sometimes you can bait your opponent, though. The swing seven, you take it, even if you have the counter, just so they swing seven again, or they overcommit and they don't play blockers, and then you have the counter to survive. All right. That's giving me questions, many cards in hand. But yeah, like, I understand why he didn't swing with the kid, but it's rough, guys. It's rough. Like, okay, he tried to go from game the previous turn, he's with, I, he's open to die. Let's see, let's see. But he knows he has to go for him. So, yeah. But it was just, you know, you try your best to manage your resource, you know, and and, and, and hopefully, you know. And guys, the One Piece card game is a card game where if both players are like, they're the same skill level, it comes down to who drew better. It comes down to who see more, like whoever, like if it comes to a point where you cannot answer my my board, like remember he was playing the kid, I answer. He plays the kid, I answer. But if one of the stars I couldn't answer, he probably would have got the game. So that's big. That's it comes down to that. So you always try to make the best play every turn, and always guys try to make your build consistent as possible. Uh, I made changes to my list. It was it was after these locals and coming videos that we have. We make it. We're gonna make a special video for you where uh, we're gonna show you an update of my list, and I was able to go undefeated. One of our locals uh, faced a few players that top of regionals. I think one of them, Ben, he top of the versus regional. It's a great player, uh, and we have great gameplay 
four matches. It's gonna be, I believe it's gonna be Gecko, La, Black Yellow, Luffy, and Katakuri. So I can't wait to show you the, the matchups. Uh, and we have a POV view, so hopefully you guys love that new view. So he's thinking, guys, he's taking his time. Our, uh, seven. I think I counter, yes, I'm sorry. I caught on talking. So he, yeah, so, so I defended that, why? Because now we now it's getting to the point that I'm I'm gonna go for game next turn. He's he's trying to go for game because that's his best play right now. He know I have too many big attacks the next turn. He don't have that many cards in hand. So I defended the six. I defended the seven. He has to hit me four times successfully to kill me. Remember, I will take the first two hit to two hits, and then I will he I heal again. And if I get a good trigger like a pawn or a zero cost event, or let's say my last life is a Maru, it's like there's no way he's killing me. So yeah, let's see what it does here. It's it's really tough. It just I feel like we both play really well. It just came down to I had the answer every turn. Every turn I had it because doing the Raigo, then Karakuri, and then back to buy Yamatos. Uh, that's really horrible. So he gets a 2K guys. That's why like. One day you might be seeing me playing with that. So guys, clutch, Capone, Capone, bro. So he plays the kid that was smart. That was smart. Why? Because now he knows that he doesn't have game. He eat my hand, and now uh, he has a kid. But he has four cards in hand. I don't think killing that kid is gonna be hard for us because he only has four cards in hand. I think the best number to do is to go 10 first to the kid to see what he does. Um, but it's, 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 it's looking good for us. Because um, he couldn't win for a game because I had a Capone. And and also on the nail, guys, I get to heal once per turn I get to just heal. Just because, guys. It's just so... It's like, yeah, you're going to be a four life leader, but that's some BS. <laughs> Come on. Just keep healing yourself and then you play cards that heals you. So he gives me two two Ks, guys. That's a two two Ks, right? So that will be twelve, and then I go eleven. Who's that? That's twelve again. Go ten. He blocks, and I go ten, and I go seven. Yeah, I literally math him out. That's what I did, guys. If you notice there, I did the numbers with a math him out. When I knew my my last attack with seven because he only had one card in hand, he was gonna go through. So that was that was a lot of fun, guys. Hopefully you like that matchup. All my Uta matches are so intense. Um, I was just lucky and blessed enough to see the the answer every turn. So uh, hopefully you guys learn something against the matchup and have fun. But like I say, guys, coming soon we have POV views with commentary. I'm gonna bring you an update uh, for my list and nail list. And uh, and again, thank you so much, me and my brother. We're so grateful for your additional support. And uh, we're going to keep grinding, keep, keep grinding. And uh, please like, comment, subscribe. It really helps the channel. Um, and uh, again, thank you so much. Be blessed. Signing out.